What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Favorite Fits, the internet mock draft show hosted by me, Trevor Sikama, where we take a look at the latest 2021 NFL mock draft over at the Draft Network and pick out some selections that I think were just to a T nailed home run selections, franchise changers, give these guys the keys to the team. Okay, maybe not. Well, I would love to see Brentley Wiseman get the keys to one of these franchises because shout out to him. He was the one doing the mock draft for this week. And with it, we got to talk about number 11, where he had the New York Giants selecting Devontae Smith. I almost said stealing Devontae Smith in this draft because I really do love this connection. Not only do I think that Devontae Smith is obviously a fantastic football player, this was evident by his record-breaking season this year at Alabama, but the Giants could have a really big wide receiver need. Now they have Sterling Shepard, they have Golden Tate, they have Evan Ingram, they have Darius Slayton, they have some of those guys on the roster, but Golden Tate could be on his way out. They could move on from him if they want. He's on the other side of 30, and they really need a good dynamic playmaker anyways. And so I feel like they just need new juice, new life, within this Giants passing attack. And so even if it's the same guys around him moving forward, plugging Devontae Smith into this New York Giants offense, I think is a big boost right away. We're not going too far for the analysis on this next pick. Only one spot to be exact, where Brentley has the Atlanta Falcons. Yes, the Atlanta Falcons at number 12 overall because of a trade back. They moved from four to 12 as the San Francisco 49ers moved up to go get quarterback Trey Lance up in the top five. And in doing so, it was great for Atlanta because Atlanta got obviously number 12 right here. Number 44, which is the second round pick from the Falcons this year and a first round pick next year while also grabbing Miami pass rusher Gregory Rousseau here at number 12. Now, Rousseau, a lot of people think he's a one year wonder, but you got to emphasize the word wonder because it was a 15 and a half sack season and he opted out this year. But man, him next to Jalen Phillips and Quincy Roche, I mean, that Miami defensive line would have been incredible. Now he's raw, of course. You've got to find out what you want him to do for you because he's lined up at nose tackle, three tech on the edge, and two point stance and a three point stance. He's done it all, but it's hard to not think of a more ideal ball of clay, if you will, for a pass rusher coming into the NFL. He's got all the tools. He's got the size. He's got the length. He's got the athleticism. He's just got to hone in on exactly how to use it. And if you get it, that's a scary pass rusher. So the Atlanta Falcons, it's one of their biggest needs. So for them to trade back, get those draft assets, still grab Rousseau. I think that's a great pick for them. Last but not least, we got to talk about the Arizona Cardinals because I feel like we talk about them plenty on these two shows, this Mock the Mock and Favorite Fits, but we're often talking about them on Mock the Mock because it's so hard to game plan for them. They'd love to get a guy like Kyle Pitts. They'd love to get a big-time receiver in there as well. They'd love to add a star cornerback, but it just doesn't often line up for them. A lot of those guys are often off the board before the Cardinals come on the clock. So some of these picks are a little bit forced, but not this one. This one is perfect. And of course, if it ends up like this, uh, Cardinals fans will be praising Brentley for predicting it. And that is them getting Virginia Tech cornerback Caleb Farley. This is a huge need for the Arizona Cardinals. They need another corner. They need another potential shutdown guy. Patrick Peterson, for as incredible as he has been, he ain't getting any younger. They're going to need a guy to come in and play opposite of him while he's there and then take over as the CB1 one day whenever they end up moving on. And so Caleb Farley, it's a great investment for them. It's good value with the current pick at number 16. And so this one, I had to highlight it because I feel like we often are highlighting picks that we don't agree with the Cardinals. This one was a home run. That's it for this episode of Favorite Fits. But a couple things before we got out of here. We mentioned Gregory Rousseau a couple minutes ago as the pick for the Falcons. We actually had the chance to sit down and talk with Gregory Rousseau here at the Draft Network. That's over at our YouTube page. So just go over to the video tab and you can find our full interview of Rousseau there. Whether you are a Falcons fan or just a draft fan in general, go find out what makes Rousseau such an awesome prospect. And then if you have not seen Brentley's full mock, I'm talking about rounds one through three, you can go see that over at thedraftnetwork.com.